Now you'll remember before I mentioned we were going to set up the PayPal settings for the transaction. And here we are back in the main settings panel under payments. If you page down a little bit, you'll see the PayPal settings. Now this URL that the system gives you is for the instant payment notifications. And this uh, goes from PayPal to the plugin to let the plugin know that the transaction has occurred. So we're going to copy that URL. Then we're going to head to our PayPal account. We're just going to click go to my account. I'm logged in already. You will log into your profile. And once you're at the profile, you'll make sure that you're in My Selling Tools. And down here under the heading, Getting Paid and Managing Risk, you may have to uh, load the heading like this to see what's underneath it. You'll see Instant Payment Notifications integrate PayPal notifications with my website and you'll click update and this is the place we're going to put this now I already have it set to the correct return address but if you need to set yours which you most likely will need to do you'll click edit settings you'll highlight whatever is in here or just clear it out or you'll just be putting this in there from start you'll make sure that receive IPN messages is enabled the first checkbox there you'll click save and then head back to your profile. Now this next part in the PayPal options is advanced payment options. And this part is even visible because previously, you'll remember we selected advanced crowdfunding. And what the advanced crowdfunding lets us do is accept pledges or donations in advance of reaching a goal without actually charging that person. So, for example, let's say you set up a goal of $5,000 and you're going to crowdfund this event, but you're not going to charge anyone until you reach that goal. So, you might have pledges for $4,500, but none of those people will be charged until you reach the goal, which is $5,000. This is almost like how a Kickstarter works, where you're putting a goal out there and you're not actually funding the project until the entire goal is reached. To do that, you need to use PayPal's API. So, if you don't want to do that kind of functionality on your website, and it's certainly not necessary for doing a simple fundraising option. You could deselect advanced crowd sourcing and you'll notice that that goes away and you are ready to roll. We are going to show you how to do it. Again, it is certainly not necessary that you do it, but if you do want the advanced crowdfunding to work, then we'll have to put that in. So I'm going to reselect it and show you where to get this information from. So back in your PayPal profile, under Selling Online, you will see API Access. So you will go to Update the API Access. And you want the one here on the right side, which says Option 2, Request API Credentials. So you'll view API Signature. And if you haven't done this yet, you can request one, and they'll give you one uh, almost immediately. And we're going to take this information from PayPal. Here is the username. And we're going to plug that into our settings under API username. Then it asks for API password. And these are coded entries given directly from PayPal. And then it asks for a long signature. And we will take that signature right here. And we will plug that in the signature section. And you'll notice down here that this must be a business account to use the API credentials. Again, registering a business account with PayPal is free. There's no extra charge. It's just a different type of setting and you will have different options available to you. I mentioned that early on and make sure that you do handle your uh, setting up your business account through PayPal first. Um, it, it's not really hard to do. It just takes a few extra pieces of information, but you won't be able to see these settings that I'm showing you because uh, unless you have that, that business account enabled. So you'll make sure that you want to do that uh, before you get into doing these steps that, that I'm showing you. So when you're done, you could just click Done here, and that'll take you back. And that's pretty much it for the PayPal application API credentials.
At the moment, we don't have to worry about application ID, so we will click Save Changes, and everything is ready to roll with the PayPal settings. We've already finished presentation and other, so next we can get started on setting up a fundraiser.